Chandrayaan 4, biggest I think uh, uh, highlight was uh, you are flying it on uh, LVM 3SC, semi cryo. So, uh, what's up with the semi cryo as in a C2000 now? Uh, what progress like since last we spoke? How confident are you? Yeah, we are confident today that by the time Chandrayaan 4 has to be launched, we will be ready with the stage. Currently, the engine is in the test stand going through some you know, integrated level test. So, we face small, small issues, but uh, then it is getting corrected. So, the next uh, powerhead level test is scheduled in another few weeks. Okay. So, hopefully, uh, the engine could be ready by the time that we are ready for launch. Now, coming to the engine is one part, the next is a stage, the semi cryogenic stage. The stage, all the tank structures, everything is realized. Hmm. It has also going through the qualification program. There is a lot of tests are required to be done. So, after that the stage testing is also to be done, engine plus stage. Hmm. So, the facility is just now recently commissioned. So, everything is uh, next uh, two years, I believe that we should be in a position to make it ready. Uh, and the SLP plumbing and uh, all uh, no, That is not a much, uh, all engineering details are worked out. So, okay. we will have to give some time slot to implement because when the launch is not there only we can do that. So, we will see. Ah, okay. when, when it is ready for that, uh, we will do it uh, maybe two months of slot, we will have to give to cut and weld and piping, mm -hmm. a lot of laying out, wiring, mm -hmm. all, all that has to be done. It will be done in, in short time. So, it will also have like a D3, D4 uh, campaign or uh, like development campaign will be there? No, there is no development test. It will be at the flight straight. Okay. Uh, we will have a full stage level test anyway. Mm -hmm. So, there is no need of any development test because okay. architecture of the vehicle does not change. Okay. Okay. Instead of a single engine, uh, two engine, we have mm. a single engine core. Mm. That's the only thing. So the control system will take care of the because thrust is double of a mm. London. Mm. So it is uh, there is no change in the as far as the vehicle configuration is concerned. Okay. And the transitioning from S two hundred to core etc is similar. Mm. So we have made sure that that is uh, not a major change in the architecture of the vehicle. So it doesn't call for a development mission. Okay. We'll have to see. And. Uh, does the, the aero profile must have changed, but uh, aero profile will not change. But it's outside the L110 that uh, no L110 is only the after end change. After end change, it is not a major change as far as the vehicle is concerned. It's only the aft flow configuration will change. Mm -hmm. That is a plume we call it plume interaction. Mm -hmm. Now the two plume comes with the central mm -hmm. plume comes. Mm -hmm. We studied it enough. I think there are no issues. Okay, so this uh, so this will be in air like in yeah, flight. Yeah, it will be ignited ignition. in flight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how much, uh, what upgrade does this, like in, in terms of payload, raw payload capacity, what? Uh, yeah, we are targeting something like 500 kilogram. 500 kilogram extra. This is on top of C32 extra 500. Correct. So roughly 110 ish. No, they are not like that. It's not added <laughs> up uh, one, one on top of the other. Hmm. Because, you know, it all have, see, whenever there is an up, C32 is meant for semi cryo. Mm -hmm. Though C32 is now flying now, it yeah. doesn't get you the all the payload today. Mm -hmm. When the C32 plus semi cryo comes, mm -hmm. it will reach up to almost 5 ton. Okay. So together at least, see, uh, there are certain ratios in rocket design. Mm -hmm. So when the upper stage becomes heavier, mm -hmm. lower stage also has to become correspondingly heavier. Mm -hmm. So as to make the velocity at the end of the lower stage to be kept at the same. Mm -hmm. There are ratios are to be kept same. Okay. Generally, you can maximize payload. So, if you if you make the upper stage more powerful, more propellant, it does not give you automatically payload. Unless the booster is also capable of mm -hmm. putting the upper stage at the right point. Right, right, right. So, you need to make the booster also stronger to handle it. That stronger will come only when you semi cryo comes. So, the entire entire capability of C32 you can extract only when mm. the uh, semi cryo comes. But we are interacting C32 early so as to generate some heritage of the mm. system. Even in case of L110, like isn't it like just barely above uh, gravity, like the total velocity it imparts, like after S200 is separated, hmm. the velocity of S110 that is it is, it is impacting on the top stages, it, it's like little above. No, no, no. So, velocity has nothing to do with the gra gravity. Velocity, see we need to at, at, give a, approximately a 7, 8 kilometer hmm. per second. 50% hmm. is given at the end of L110. Okay. So, 50 percent is given by C22. Right. So, so, now with C32. It will be still the same. It will be 50 percent by ah, semi cryo and ah. 50 percent by C32. This no, no. ratio cannot change. Ah, L110 plus C32. There is nothing. L110 plus C32 is orbital velocity. 
No, as in, yeah. see, the trick was to do even more work now because uh, no, there is nothing like okay. that. I think this is what uh, this is the trick of design. Hmm. That is at the end of L1 turn, the velocity at the end of L1 turn or the end of semi cryo stage, hmm. the velocity will be the same. Oh. So uh, then the incre next uh, incremental velocity added by C25 correspond to L1 turn hmm. will be the velocity added by C32 correspond to the semi cryo. Okay. So, the ratios are to be kept same to mm -hmm. then what you will get is you get a higher payload. Mm -hmm. So, the whole thing will be done for 4 ton in case of C25, mm -hmm. will be done for 5 ton in case of C32. Okay. So, okay. it is a it is an energy equation balance that is uh, that is a trick. Okay. Okay.